Nika Jack, it's often looked at as oppressive, scary, weird, unfair. However, it is none of these things. The hijab is beautiful. It's something that a Muslim woman has to wear. And the hijab is not only something that you put around your head. The hijab is a lot deeper than this. And it honors women. And it protects them. I've been wearing the hijab ever since I was in fifth grade. However, only a few years ago, I learned how to wear it correctly. Today, I will be clearing up any misunderstandings about the hijab and explain what it is and why we wear it. To begin, in an article by Isaac Stacey, he says that the hijab literally means to veil, cover, or screen. And what is it that we're covering? We're basically covering um, our beauty as women. And we have to wear loose clothing and cover everything except our hands and our face. And it's also on the inside. The hijab is not on the outside, but it's also on the inside. And so we have to be modest in our character as well. When and where do we wear the hijab? We wear the hijab whenever we leave our home and we are around people who are not our mahram. Mahram is an Arabic word. It means basically a male family member. If you're not part of the family, if you're not a brother or a father, or your, you know, son, someone like that, then you have to cover up in front of them. For an example, if you walk down the street and you see a stranger that's a male, you have to be covered up right in front of him. Only women and your family members that are male and your female family members and your husband can see you without your hijab. Anyone other than this cannot. Now that you know about the hijab, I'm going to tell you why we wear it. The first and most important reason is because we are told to wear it in the Quran. In chapter 24, verse 31, Allah, or God, tells us, and tell the believing woman not to expose their adornment except that which necessarily appears, and to draw their head covers over their chest. Yasser Gazi, an Islamic um, scholar, he explained this word, and he says that the word hamad is plural of the word hamad, and hamad in Arabic means that which covers your head. So basically, he explained how back then, the women, they would cover their head. However, they would not cover their chest. So this verse came to correct them. And we are told to cover not only our head, but our chest as well. It's also to protect us. The hijab protects the women. It is there to benefit you, and Allah knows that. It protects us from harassment and from unwanted stares. Everyone has heard of women in the news getting killed, raped, beaten, kidnapped, all these things. The hijab is there to protect us from that. And we are also looked at for our character and not how we look on the outside, but how we are in the inside, how our hearts are, how our personalities are, the things that matter. And that is what you get from a person who wears a hijab, is their personality and their heart. They're not looked at as an item. Also, the hijab is a visible sign of Islam. Whenever someone sees someone wearing it, it gives them an opportunity
opportunity to ask them, what is this and why do you wear it? It also um, shows that people who wear the hijab are proud to show it and are proud to tell people that they are Muslim. Some, mis some misunderstanding about the hijab is that we are forced to wear it. And that is probably the biggest misunderstanding, is that we are forced. And in the Quran, it says, chapter 2, verse 256, there is no compulsion in religion. That means that we are not forced to do anything, you know? So if there's any place or anyone who's forcing someone to do something in their religion that's not part of Islam at all, that's their culture. But in Islam, it's nothing. You can't force somebody to do something. That's just not how we do it in Islam. And it's oppressive. Some people think that's the whole concept of hijab is oppressive and if they only knew how much it honors women then they would not say that. The hijab is worn by so many women and they love it and they wear it by choice including me. No one forced me to wear it. I wear it by choice. And it sets us free from having to look a certain way to fit into society, and society is always changing. So, in the last few minutes, I've explained to you the basics of hijab. And I explained what it is, why we wear it, and some misunderstanding of it that I hopefully cleared up. I want to end this with a beautiful quote from the book called The Veil. It says, what's in a woman's head is a lot more important than what's on it. Thank you.